Hello, welcome to Educator.com. In this lesson, we're going to be covering color theory uh, and really in the basic format. We're not going to really cover it too much because it's really a heavy, heavy uh, topic to go through, um, but it's definitely a crucial part of your design and how you're going to make these uh, choices um, down the road. Um, you know, understand what color means to design. Uh, we're going to go through that. We're going to learn the color wheel um, in the basic form and understand the different types of colors and the relationships they have with one another. And finally, learn what types of colors um, will be used on the website. So it's kind of like, you know, you're going to go through all these different things. And again, it's such a deep topic. You, you know, we're going to do our best to cover it um, and give you like the basic understanding uh, of, of close as it can be to an intro uh, to color theory. Um, so what is color? I mean, color is really the, the thing that we probably take for granted. It's, just, it's there. We, it's de definitely uh, something that we use and subconsciously, uh, you know, use all the time without really maybe thinking about it in, in the terms of design. Uh, colors make people feel a certain way. They invoke that emotion um, that people might have. And I think that's, that's the, the one thing. So what I would say is that, uh, you know, color definitely invokes uh, invokes the emotions that you're going to have uh, whether you realize it or not. The other thing is that color should have um, the meaning or relationship to, to the project. So as we design out our, our project here, um, and we'll periodically go through these to compare some colors, is that the, the colors here, um, they're very, they're very um, light, easy colors, very cool colors. Um, with some, some warm colors in there, and we'll explain what those mean. Um, and you probably already know this without even realizing that you know this, because we, again, we use a lot of symbolism with color as well and what it does mean. And um, th this, the topic's really, um, it, even though it's a deep topic, it's very exciting, too, to kind of see, like, what colors really uh, can do for you. And when you learn more about it, you kind of can read people a little bit better and read the projects and, and really say, yeah, this is how it makes me feel. Um, people just sometimes don't know why they feel a certain way. But uh, color is definitely something you need um, in, to in any project you do. Um, or else it just doesn't come to life. It's kind of, it's kind of dull. So here's the primary color wheel. And um, th this right here is just to give you like a bit a, a you know, basic understanding is is that the red and yellow and blue here, what you're going to see right here is your primaries, is um, really make up the colors in between, and that those those would be considered your your uh, secondary colors. And so when you kind of learn this a lot when you take um, a class when you go into color theory, my my color theory class was was painting, and um, they, we had to mix all this paint, and I had never painted before in my life, and so it was kind of it was fun to kind of go through it because it's something you've never done before. But I had no idea what colors we're going to make. Uh, you know, you, you have some idea, but um, until you really see it and see how it plays out, it, it's interesting. So uh, you have your your secondaries again, which is which is in here, and that's that's what your your primaries will make this here. So this will be your your second. So these are all ones. And then your, your twos, so as you mix the two ones together in between, you get your secondary color. And then so on and so forth. If you mix uh, between in these two, you'll get your tertiary color, which is, uh, they, they call them the in-between colors. And, um, the, you know, you, you're going to have different variations of color. And you have your um, complementary colors, which is the opposite of the spectrum. So here to here is 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 uh your complementary colors these two complement each other and these two complement each other so these are the colors that you can think of as they vibrate against each other and um like red and green you 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 think of christmas so there's that invoking that emotion or invoking the thought of what color it reminds you of but it also vibrates if you put two colors together balance and saturation and balance in uh, the brightness and all that and you look at them, especially on a computer screen, 
um, or a really good printer, printed out colored copy, you'll, your eyes will kind of bounce uh, because it's vibrating off each other. And that is a complementary color to it. Um, sometimes it's too strong and you gotta be careful with that. Um, you don't really wanna use it unless it's uh, called for. Using hints of one of the colors in a design is okay. And I'll show you, you know, what, what that kind of means um, in a second. Um, and how I use the complementary colors because right here I actually use the orange and I use the blues but I didn't use them at the same strengths and, and evenly so um, you don't really vibrate off each other but they still have that harmony that they feel okay like doesn't re you really don't think like god they don't really go together you know it's a bad choice and you may know nothing about color but you just know it doesn't feel right um, and then you have your uh, analogous colors, which um, red and orange, blue, green, uh, they're basically right next to each other colors. So it's like these colors, these colors, they're, 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 they're the colors that are right next to it. The, they call them the feel good colors because they, you can use different shades of them. Um, and you know, you can't, you're not going to go wrong. It's actually going to blend like these purples here. Uh, if you put them all together, um, they'll be fine. Just like these greens here. And I'll show you that example right here. Right here, I used, this is what, it, what you would consider um, analogous colors, the feel-good colors, because they're all so close. And there's three different shades right there of green. But, but it makes sense. It's not overwhelming um, that you can see the, the little uh, differences. Um, and it's not too strong. Now, here's what I'm talking about when I, when I talk about the, the, the orange and blue. They complement each other. But they're more reduced down. The saturation's not strong, and we'll cover saturation in a second if you're a little bit lost there. Um, but it's really the power of, of the color, like the strength of it. So right here, you have uh, this orange that's really not powerful. It's not like bright, bright orange. And you have this blue that's really not strong blue. So they go well together, but they're not fighting each other and they're not vibrating and where it's kind of like hurting your eyes and you're like, don't even want to look at it because that's what ends up happening is that um, they'll fight against each other. Um, they go together, but too much. Uh,